We come to the part of our show where we, we call it the Ask Al segment. Listeners send in sales-related questions to us, and uh, I pick one each time to address. If you have a sales-related question or a sales management-related question you'd like to, to, for me to get answered on the air, send it to my email address, al.simon at sandler.com. And uh, maybe your question will be selected. Today's question that I selected to address is, is, is about LinkedIn, which is maybe the de facto social media app for business professionals these days. Probably is. But the question the uh, listener sent in was, how do I use LinkedIn to get appointments with prospects? Excellent question. And, and I've got to preface this by saying, Tony, that I am not an expert on LinkedIn. I am not. Uh, but there are plenty of them out there. In fact, probably one of the most preeminent experts on LinkedIn happens to be local, happens to have been on my show before, and uh, that's Greg Burkhalter, who really knows LinkedIn and focuses on how to build your brand, how to, how to really leverage LinkedIn to make things happen. But I am an expert on using LinkedIn for selling. That's really what we focus on with our clients is how to use LinkedIn for selling. And I can tell you that uh, the way not to do it, I call it the, the connect and pounce uh, uh, strategy. And you see it so often these days. And it's really a shame because it's like the telemarketers that keep calling and, and it turns off the, the uh, prospects when that happens. And so, you know, now you know, real live inside salespeople who, ha who, who are doing legitimate work have a hard time getting through because people assume it's some kind of sleazy telemarketer. And so it just ruins it for rest the rest of us and it poisons, poisons the pond, which is happening now with LinkedIn with people who do the connect and pounce strategy uh, to the point where you don't even know if you want to uh, if you want to accept a connection request because you don't want to be immediately pitched uh, right after. So let's not do that. Let's not connect and pitch, connect and pounce. Let's not do that. We've got to remember that LinkedIn is really a marathon, not a sprint. It's a long-term game. If you think about regular networking, you know, in-person networking, you get to know somebody, you, know, you talk with them about what they do for a living, and, and, it, and it probably would not be appropriate in many cases unless the prospect suggests it that you suggest an appointment on that first conversation. Well, LinkedIn might even be the same, but it might even be a, uh, even more of a lag time because really if you connect with someone who's in your target market on LinkedIn and maybe even tell them in the, in the message, the note that you put with the connection request, hey, look, I'm not going to spam you. I'm not going to pounce on you and pitch you. I'm just going to uh, look forward to seeing uh, your content posted and uh, hopefully you'll look forward to seeing my content posted. And then you, from that point on, this, you know, this person is in your target market. So you're going to look at their posts. You're going to like and comment and, and, and things like that. And then at some point in time, you can suggest an appointment, but not right away. Maybe even not in the first few months, really, if you think about it. That's the professional way to use it. And, of course, another real great way to use LinkedIn is to uh, look at the direct connections of the people that you are direct directly connected to and see who you want to be introduced to and in a professional manner ask for that introduction which is one of the things that a lot of our clients look to us at Sandler Training to help them craft those kinds of messages and carry out those kinds of tactics so that's really the best way and LinkedIn is a great tool uh, for selling but it it it, it, um, it needs to be used correctly it needs to be used professionally uh, and, and not the old connect and pitch or connect and pounce. It's just awful. It's just awful. So that's the Ask Al segment tip of the day. This is your host, Al Simon, with Sandler Training by Simon, Inc.